To say that Elon Musk is a person with special thoughts would be an understatement. The tech billionaire is recognized for his fascination in room explorations and his active attempts to achieve his programs for them. It's no surprise that Elon Musk says some pretty out there things, many of which become reality. The Cybertruck can crab walk? Check. Tesla's making robots? Check. Now, Elon Musk has tweeted that SpaceX will try to catch largest ever flying object with robot chopsticks. What does that even mean, and will this come to fruition, or is it just a wild tweet? SpaceX chief and founder Elon Musk has many times in the past expressed his vehemence towards space and revealed his seemingly wild ambitions like the colonization of Mars. The audacious plan could be carried out later this year during a major test of the Mars-bound Starship craft, which will see it blasted into orbit by a super-heavy booster rocket. So, if you're looking to know more about this audacious plan about catching rockets with robot chopsticks, then you must watch this video till the end because it's going to be amazing. Hello guys, welcome to Tech Power. And today in this video, we'll be talking about how Elon Musk's SpaceX will try to catch Starship Booster, the largest ever flying object with robot chopsticks. But before starting this fantastic video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest and interesting news. So, let's get started. As you may recall, we reported back in June about a mind-blowing concept designed to catch SpaceX Starships and its super-heavy boosters to bring humanity to Mars. It all started in March when SpaceX filed with the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, to build a 469-feet-tall steel launch tower for its Starship rocket in Texas that'll catch the super-heavy booster when landing. And then in April, Musk announced on Twitter saying, Starship Booster, largest flying object ever designed, will be caught out the sky by launch tower. Big step forward, as the reflight can be done in under an hour. Fast forward a month later, the Tesla and SpaceX founder created a buzz on social media on Monday when he tweeted a clip from the 1984 film The Karate Kid. The clip that Mr. Musk shared features one of the characters from the film trying to catch a fly with a pair of chopsticks. On Monday, he dished out a tweet touting the possibility of catching the largest flying object in space with robot chopsticks. While he reckoned that the project is sure to bring excitement, he stopped short of disclosing the specifics of the aforementioned flying object. Alongside, he also shared a clip from the famous American martial arts film The Karate Kid, highlighting the source of his inspiration. In the brief clip, a man could be seen trying to catch the flies with a chopstick. It's worth mentioning that Musk, from time to time, shares stills from movies or excerpts from books indicating that many of his ambitions stem from popular culture. The chopsticks that the billionaire is referring to is a part of the new launch tower that has been designed to catch first-stage boosters after they come back to Earth. The mechanical arms that will be fixed to the main tower will be aimed at servicing and catching SpaceX's Starships and Super Heavy boosters. Nearly two months after work on the mechanical arm started, SpaceX has installed the first of those three arms on the exterior of the launch tower, fondly named by Mr. Musk as Mechazilla. To express his happiness, Musk has taken to his Twitter account to announce the news, and if you think that there's no chance that Musk or SpaceX can pull this off, it's not the first time the concept has been discussed. The idea of landing the Starship Super Heavy booster is not new, and from the start, it's been SpaceX's vision to extend its reusable rocket technology to the Starship. In April, Musk announced that the Starship booster would land on the launch tower. Original designs contemplated a circular catch system that could adjust positions to match the rocket's descent. Landing the Starship on a platform cuts down on reflight time to under an hour, Musk said in April and baptized the robotic system as Mechazilla. SpaceX will try to catch the largest ever flying object with robot chopsticks, Musk tweeted. As cool as that sounds, the SpaceX boss seems to be preparing everyone for the possibility of a crash landing, saying that success is not guaranteed, but excitement is. The biggest risk of this new landing operation is not only losing the booster, but destroying the catch and landing system at the same time. SpaceX plans to move the catch system to the side of the platform to avoid the platform from being destroyed in case everything goes wrong, but that's still no guarantee. The platform itself is a complex and expensive structure which the company doesn't want to lose, but will it work? SpaceX is known for successfully landing rockets vertically. It has landed its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy boosters several times. However, Starship, when stacked, is almost twice the size of a Falcon Heavy. The forces that come to play are therefore greater and would make a vertical landing more challenging. 
Musk said that the platform and grid fins on the rocket are designed to take the stress. The SpaceX system will transfer final speed reduction and shock forces to the mass of the launch towers and robotic arms. The system is designed to increase landing reliability, but testing will show how reliable it really is. SpaceX's launch tower, streaming live on Starship campaign and rising 400 feet into the air, has been buzzing with activity. The new components of the robotic arms that will catch the Starship booster arrived a few weeks ago and are being assembled. Recently, SpaceX has been on a roll, and while Boeing's mission for NASA is indefinitely grounded, the SpaceX Dragon capsule recently docked with the International Space Station and the Falcon 9 rocket that put Dragon into orbit landed successfully. At Moca Chica Village in South Texas, the Starship spacecraft was stacked for the first time above the Super Heavy Booster 4. Musk said that the robotic arms that will catch the Starship will be operating for the Starship Heavy Booster 5 mission. SpaceX crashed a lot of rockets before getting a grip on rocket landing, so expect an adjustment period as it tries to master a new way of catching rockets. In any case, SpaceX will be investing a lot in the project, so it's most likely going to analyze things accordingly, and advancement in technology and most possible sustainable methods is what made SpaceX unique and achieve something that other companies didn't achieve initially. So guys, with this, we end up our amazing video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and we'll be happy to hear from you. Also, if you found this video interesting, then don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.